All right, now Thor's walking around and your cat's scratching, so just... <laughs> yeah. Give me a minute. <laughs> That's fine. This is Leon. Uh, he likes to scratch at my door. Oh, while well, I'm trying to record. He just wants to be a podcaster. Hey everybody, welcome back to a brand new episode of Royally Rumbled's 2008 Universe Mode. My name is Jordan. I am still Robert, and here we are just three weeks away from our King of the Ring tournament, and just one week away from No Mercy happening in our next episode. So we gotta get you caught up. Without any further ado, Robert... You've got a Raw. I do. I've got a SmackDown. You sure do. We might as well just roll right into it. Well, let's do it. Catch me up on what happened uh, on your show this week. Monday Night Raw this week is emanating live from Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. Again, so nice we stayed there twice. Our first match is Jeff Hardy versus CM Punk. In a rematch from last week, Punk and Hardy square off before Hardy is set to defend the Intercontinental Championship against Umaga at no mercy. Punk hits not one, but two knee strike bulldog combos and manages to lock Hardy into the Anaconda Vice, but Hardy is able to get free. Punk tries to wear down the Intercontinental Champion using various holds and eventually hits a leg trap curb stomp to Hardy to pick up the win. After the match, Umaga attacks Jeff Hardy from behind. Is this the end of the Charismatic Enigma's title reign? Ashley is looking to advance in the Divas division by knocking the champion off. She blames Mickey for their loss last week and wants to prove she's better. Mickey is tested by Ashley, but Mickey continually holds her own. Ashley reverses a Mick kick and takes Mickey down, but Mickey is able to mount more offense before connecting with a Mick kick to put Ashley away. In a Raw King of the Ring qualifying match, recent rivals Rey Mysterio and JBL go head-to-head -head for the open spot. Rey Mysterio charges the ring and takes down JBL, raining a flurry of punches before the referee rings the bell. Rey couldn't wait to get his hands on JBL as retribution for the last few weeks. Rey is out for blood, but JBL isn't messing around either. JBL hits Rey with a big boot that rocks Mysterio. He follows it up with a sidewalk slam. JBL beats down Ray repeatedly and eventually overwhelms him with a swinging neckbreaker to pin Ray and advance to the King of the Ring tournament. Our next match features the World Heavyweight Champion, The Game, Triple H, and Mr. Money in the Bank, Kofi Kingston, taking on the Bastard of Blackpool and the Big Red Monster in a tag team bout. Triple H took Regal down just like he did a few weeks ago and then continued to punish Regal in the opening moments. Kane wound up in the ring with Kofi, who was able to land a boom drop and a trouble in paradise. Kofi went for the pin, but Regal was there to break it up. Kofi wound up busting Kane wide open. He also launched Triple H at his opponents not once, but twice. Triple H was able to make the tag to get in the ring and nail Kane with a spine buster to pick up the victory. Triple H and Kofi celebrated, but Triple H turned his back on Kofi, trusting him for now. So, so far, so good for Monday Night Raw. A lot of great action happening. But my most anticipated match of the night, maybe yours too, I promised it in our last episode, we have Randy Orton taking on JTG in a quick, angry feud of sorts because Orton randomly interfered last week in JTG versus John Morrison's table match. Uh, so now JTG gets to exact some revenge here, or will the Viper put him down again? So out first is the Apex Predator, Randy Orton. A lot of confusion, Robert. A uh, lot of confusion oh, look at surrounding this. this man as to why he's seemingly surrounding himself with the likes of Dolph Ziggler and John Morrison. It is quite the team that Orton has aligned himself with here. And Ziggler and Morrison 
deep in the throes of this rivalry with primetime over the tag team titles and Orton just throwing himself into it in a very emphatic way last yeah, week. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure what Randy Orton's endgame is here. Uh, I mean, he's a former world heavyweight champion, has been kind of down on his luck lately, and has seemingly decided to go after one half of the world tag team champions in JTG last week. So... Uh, you booked this match, and Randy Orton is going one-on-one with JTG, so we're getting some singles action out of JTG tonight. Yeah, and I just I wanted to give JTG the opportunity to at least answer the call. He was bum-rushed last week. So I wanted I wanted JTG to have an opportunity to, to right a wrong for himself. But at the same time, it opens up a can of worms here with Orton because I don't know what he's planning. He hasn't clued me into anything. Well, I mean, maybe Randy Orton, he could, like, get some sort of message across on your show one of these days. And out comes the tag team champions crime time here. Uh, Obviously, Shad just going to, I guess, try to run interference because... He saw that Orton came out with Ziggler and Morrison in tow. But honestly, I think Shad would have been out there with JTG regardless. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's a fair point. I think Shad was coming out no matter what, but the numbers game is still not in their favor here. No, not at all. I mean, they're outnumbered 3-2, to uh, but they are the tag team champions, so anything is possible. They've been they've been kind of dominant. JTG, of course, getting the win last week against Morrison. Yeah, despite or- the interference. Yeah, Orton's interference be damned. And there's the bell. Oh, what, what ref bump? Not Charles Robinson <laughs> oh, look drops. At look, JTG punched Orton Orton in the jaw. And oh my God, Shad just whoa appeared. <laughs> oh my he- goodness. Oh my god, fall away slam on the outside. But let's just quickly talk about the raw teleportation device, Jordan. Uh, well, it's a brand new feature in WWE 2K19, apparently, uh, <laughs> where everyone could just Ooh. show up. Teleport. Yeah. And Orton just beating the piss out of JTG on the outside. And here come Morrison and Ziggler. I was going to say, Shad needs to watch out. Morrison and Ziggler are starting to surround Shad. Referee, not Charles Robinson, is back up, so he is okay. Thank God. Ooh. JTG digging his knee into Randy Orton's back here. But JTG gets out of it, but gets caught with a neck breaker from Orton. And Orton really wants to try to... He always wants to slow the pace down in the ring a little bit and make you work on his time. Here's a cover! And JTG gets the shoulder up before it's even a one count. So there's a lot on the line here, it seems like. There's a lot of pride on the line, and there's a lot of just animosity out of nowhere. But that's how Randy Orton strikes. Absolutely. Uh, Very interesting seeing Randy Orton in some sort of alliance with Morrison and Ziggler. Uh, And it's almost boosting morale of all three members. Yeah, I think think just the surge of energy between the three of them now, because Morrison and Ziggler have been doing all right for themselves. They're not slouches on on Raw, that's for sure. No, and here's Orin uh, lifting up JTG... Oh. And connecting oh. with that falling neckbreaker again. Just really picking apart JTG. But JTG answers it with a DDT. Wow. And like I said earlier, JTG uh, defeating Morrison last week. So JTG is no slouch in the ring. Randy Orton needs to keep his eye on the prize because he's in there with one half of the Raw World Tag Team Champions. That's true. 
And you got to wonder, is is this match like a an initiation for Orton? Like, does he get in the Cool Kids Club if he wins here? Is that what they're out on at ringside for? Oh, and JTG drops that leg over the back of the head and neck of Randy Orton. He's getting into it with Dolph. But Dolph Ziggler's running interference. Ooh, Orton bitch slapped the taste out of his mouth. Uh-oh. Vintage Randy Orton with that DDT. Orton taking a minute to, to hear the boos from the crowd. One, two, and JTG kicks out with authority. Gets that shoulder up. Uh, and Shad's got to be wondering uh, if there's anything he can do to help yeah. motivate his partner and, and will him to victory. Oh, JTG gets Orton in the corner. What's he setting up here? And drops him with a clothesline. It's meat and potatoes from JTG. <laughs> Orton could be in trouble. And now JTG just pulling back on that head and neck of Randy Orton. Stretching the lumbar region of Randy Orton's back. Ooh. Oh. RKO! RKO out of nowhere! And a cover JTG one, bleeding. two, three! What? The Viper strikes! Out of nowhere, Randy Orton. Ooh. Just... And we see it here. Randy Orton was in firm control of that match. Yeah. JTG really never got a chance to get going as Orton picks the bones and delivers one hell of an RKO to pick up the victory in this match. But you got to wonder what the future holds for this unholy alliance that Randy Orton has formed with Ziggler and Morrison. And, and why target JTG? Why go after the tag team champions? Ziggler and Morrison are facing JTG and Shad at no mercy, and I think they have enlisted Orton as a hired gun to help them get those belts. Well, stay tuned for No Mercy. That's going to do it for Raw here as Randy Orton celebrates in victory. Uh... What a go-home show, Robert. Thank you. There's the iconic Apex Predator pose, but is he for hire? So Randy Orton uh, picking up the victory over JTG. Huge. I wonder if he's affected them enough now to, to weaken them for the titles at, I mean, at No Mercy. My money's in the hands of crime time because <laughs> they've proven time and time again, just from losing the titles to air boom earlier in the yeah. year and picking them back up them and back. just having classic crazy matches. I'm very excited for that match. They have, they've been really like the raw MVPs, the unsung heroes of my show so far, but enough about raw. There's still a Friday night Smackdown to get to. Let's go. So why not head on over to Friday night? Kicking off the show this week, SmackDown emanates from Cohasset, Massachusetts. And uh, the hometown boy, John Cena, goes one-on-one -on -one with WWE champion Booker T. Booker and Cena trade holds at the start of the bout, which starts off friendly at first, seeing clean breaks in the corner. After a few minutes, Edge's music plays, and he walks out onto the ramp. Cena turns his back on Booker, similarly to their first encounter when Booker turned his back on Cena. Edge runs into the ring and spears John Cena, costing him the match. Due to this, I decided to make this match a tag team match, player. Edge will team up with Chris Jericho to face John Cena and his partner, Booker T. The match goes back and forth. Edge hits another spear, but ultimately the match would break down and Jericho would force champion Booker T to tap out in the walls of Jericho. 
what will happen this Sunday at No Mercy. Match three was Kurt Hawkins with Zack Ryder versus Batista. Hawkins and Ryder enter together without the Edgehead's garb. Edge has dropped the duo, and they return to their Major Brothers gear once again. Batista is all offense to start, hitting several slams on Hawkins. Kurt Hawkins dodges Batista in the corner, but Batista accidentally takes out referee not Charles Robinson. What a rough week. <laughs> Ryder hastily retrieves a chair for his partner, who nails the animal in the head. Hawkins goes for a pinfall, but the ref is still out cold. Hawkins proceeds to beat down Batista until the animal counters and tosses Hawkins over with a back body drop. Before Batista could mount more offense, Hawkins resorts to a low blow, but the referee catches him, calling for a disqualification. After a series of big losses, HBK looks to enter the King of the Ring tournament to win something he never has. But to do that, he needs to go through the loudmouth Mr. Kennedy, who shows that he's a force to be reckoned with by taking the fight directly to HBK at the start. Michaels hits a huge pile driver on Kennedy before landing a big elbow drop for a two count. Kennedy is able to counter a key lock from HBK, who tosses Michaels into the corner and drives him face first into the mat. Kennedy gets Michaels up for the Green Bay plunge and drives him down. HBK kicks out at two and a half. Kennedy places HBK into a headlock, but Michaels counters and sends Kennedy off the ropes. He pops him up and Kennedy plummets to the mat. As he sells up, HBK's waiting to deliver some sweet chin music, securing his spot in the King of the Ring tournament. So Shawn Michaels advancing in King of the Ring, but our main event is Tori Wilson versus Natalia, oh. as Tori is looking for a bit of revenge after Natalia attacked her after their match two weeks ago. So without any further ado, let's head to the ring. And out comes the Queen of Hearts, Natalia Neidhart. And I think this I think this is Natty's first main event in 2008. It is. This is the first time uh, Natty is main eventing with Tori Wilson. And uh, I'm very excited for this match because of the bad blood that's built up between the two. For sure. Uh taking you back Tori actually gave Natty her first match on Smackdown and gave her her first loss yeah Natty's had a bit of a cold streak since turning turning blue here yeah but uh, her new attitude last week got her a victory over Melina Divas mm. champion Melina so uh, tonight we're getting some fallout here as Tori uh, is very upset that she is no longer Natalia's friend. Natty befriends everyone in a locker room. I can attest to that. So the fact that they're no longer friends is a very big deal. Well, it's a big deal until Natty makes her next friend and then they right. are no longer friends. But, right. Right. but besides the point, Tori Wilson here. Her first SmackDown main event as well. Tori's um, uh, attire is noteworthy. It's very gold. <laughs> um, and yes, that is an Austin Powers reference. Yeah, her. she looks like she's going to walk on the moon with those boots. <laughs> well, uh... <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Maybe we're strapping the rocket to Tori Wilson and she's going straight to the moon, brother. Or her calves have elephantitis. Natty with a huge face buster here. Oh my goodness, that wheelbarrow face buster. And Natty has out for blood and has something to prove. I like Natty's attire, though. I like that. That's cool. It's got some some sheerness on the side. Yeah. It's, it's fun. She's not uh, an awkward Ooh. redhead in yeah. 2008 anymore. 
in our universe. Yeah, that's when I had her. But now that she's on the SmackDown, the blue brand, she's looking to... Okay, Ooh. Leapfrog oh. dodges the drop kick, and Tori Wilson hits that right hand, but Natalia's yeah, there into to push it. her off. Ooh, big clothesline from Natty. She she definitely has the power advantage over Tori, but Tori might have the quickness that Natty doesn't possess. And there's a cover, but Tori does not even let the referee count one. Oh, and a small package. Oh, one, two. Huge kick out by Tori Wilson staying alive here. Natty almost had her there. She did. It was unexpected. And now there's she a chop. Tori slides down her back and... Bulldog! Boom! Tori Wilson meaning business. Oh, she misses with that drop kick. Oh, no, another wheelbarrow face buster. She's got to be careful. Tori's going to quit this match just because she's going to need some work done. <laughs> oh, and no. And now, look at this. Ooh. Look at that surfboard stretch variation. Oh, my God. But wait, oh. into a cover. Wow. And Natty having to force that break. The ingenuity of Tori Wilson. The divas of SmackDown proving why they belong in the main event of the show. Definitely. Ugh, Natalia with another clothesline. And obviously, Natty's going to be probably looking to lock in the sharpshooter. But what's Tori got to do to stay out of that? Look at this. The power. The the squats. Wow. The complete upper body strength of Natty. Wow. One. Oh, and it was all for show because Tori kicks out at one. But what, what do you think Tori's got to do to avoid the sharpshooter, Jordan? Uh, basically anything she can. She needs to continue using her speed Ooh. and trying to not get caught by Natty. Oh, and there's a net oh! by nature taking down Tori Huge. Wilson. And a cover. One, two. Wow. Tori just gets that shoulder up. Tori Wilson is a warrior. And Natty... Seems like she's taking way too much time to taunt. Oh, no. Oh, but wait a minute. Tori oh! pops her and drops her with a DDT. Natalia gets that foot up and another clothesline. She's got a... Th oh, no. No! Oh, Tori got out of it. She managed to avoid that sharpshooter. What's Tori going to do here? Swinging neck breaker. Cover. Makes a cover. One, two. Oh. Wow. <laughs> Natty and kicks out again. This match is electric. The crowd's going crazy. Standing on their feet. And X Factor. X Factor from Tori. Shades of X Pac. She shoots the half. One, two. Oh, <laughs> no Natalia way. kicks out again. What is happening? This match continues here on Friday Night SmackDown. Dude, Natty can't, she doesn't even know where she is right now. Oh, Tori. Will she do know. it? Face Buster connects and that's her comeback. What's going to happen here? Throws her into the corner. What is she trying to set up here? Tornado DDT. Pinner. Pinner, what are you thinking? Oh, no. Natty pops up European uppercut. Double underhook. Oh. Into a bridge. <laughs> She's One, got the shoulders down. Two. And Tori Wilson will not be denied here. The Divas are killing it on Friday night. Natalia launches wow. Tori over her head. That strength. This late into the match to have that kind of strength. It's so impressive. 
Natalya, one of the best divas in the WWE, just connected with another Nat by nature. Corey Wilson's done, son. Wait a minute! What? Bulldog! Oh, another bulldog! Tori! Lining her do? up! No way. Another X Factor! Wow! And Tori shoots the half again and a cover. One, two, three! <laughs> Tori Wilson defeats oh. Natalia. I absolutely expected Natty to kick out of that. 100%. What a match! Wow. Tori Wilson, man. What a hard-fought victory. Hard-fought victory. And a hard loss for Natalia. After yeah. her huge victory last week against Molina, she loses here again. So, back to the drawing board again for Natty? It seems like it. Uh, Tori Wilson... Just, I mean, beating Natalia clean. Yeah. And it's not to say that Natty didn't have a million opportunities to win that match. Tori just kept fighting. No, and that just goes to show you the dedication of the Divas division on SmackDown. Uh, they are vying for that top spot. They're gunning for Melina and her Divas championship. And I think it's only fitting... That at No Mercy, in our oh. next episode, we have a Divas Battle Royal. Where we see what kind of talent SmackDown nice. has to offer. We both had a lot of things happen on both of our shows. We did. We each had a new person qualify for King of the Ring. JBL yes. defeating rival Rey Mysterio over on Raw. And on SmackDown, Shawn Michaels beats Mr. Kennedy to qualify. Yeah, so the King of the Ring tournament's heating up. But before we get to that, we have No Mercy. No Mercy. In our very next episode. So uh, stay tuned for that. We're out of time tonight. So, we'll let you uh, go. We'll let you go. But thanks for watching. If you would like to, please give us a follow on social media at royally rumbled we're on twitter we're on facebook we're on instagram you could subscribe so you never miss an episode uh on youtube and if you like this video drop a like and maybe throw a comment tell us how we're doing yeah uh if you would like you could follow us individually i jordan can be found on twitter and instagram at jl24 fps and I am still Robert from the beginning of the episode, and you could find me on Twitter and Instagram at Yezball. So no mercies coming to you next episode. This has been Royally Rumbled's 2008 Universe Mode, episode 25, and we'll see you in 2008.